Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you how to organize that kitchen junk drawer. And if you're not subscribed to the At Home with Nikki family, I would love to have you as a part of the family, so click that subscribe button. And friends, I'm really excited about this video because this is a collaboration video hosted by The Minimal Mom here on YouTube. And we have one awesome playlist for you this month, so definitely don't miss out. I'll put the playlist down below, so let's get started. <music> So friends, one thing that is a frustration for many homes is that kitchen junk drawer. And as a professional organizer and being in many kitchens, I have found a trend of there being multiple junk drawers in a kitchen. And I'll talk about that a little later. But let's change the name. Let's not call it a junk drawer. We don't want junk in our home. Let's call it the utility drawer. By simply changing the name, you kind of change the view of the drawer and it may even change the look and how your family upkeeps it. Okay friends, my second tip is to think outside of the box. It doesn't necessarily have to be a utility drawer. It can be a canister such as I have in my kitchen. I've had this system for a few years now, probably going on four or five years, and I love it. It really works. I have a canister in my kitchen and it has all those elements that typically you would find in that utility drawer. I have my first aid, I have labeling, I have for the kitchen labeling that is, lighters, stationery if I need to write a little list, a pair of scissors. We are always looking for a pair of scissors. And this has really been an efficient way for me to keep those utility drawer items. I found these little bags a couple years ago in Target and they worked so well. And this is also great for small homes if you don't have drawer space available. Now I made this mock junk drawer here so that I could walk you through the steps of organizing your drawer and, and giving a different perspective to how you think about that kitchen, let's call it junk drawer now called utility drawer. But one thing that you will notice if you go open it, you will notice that there's probably a lot of things in there that don't relate to the utility drawer. It's not things that you need to grab, it's things that more so have been dumped. This is why it is so important that every cabinet, every drawer has an identity. You really have a specific use for each one so that it does not become a cluttered drop zone. And that's what typically will happen. So step one is to basically take everything out the drawer and you can start with all of the trash. It may be easier, but you just want to have a, a, just a blank canvas to work from. And that way you can really reset this as a functioning utility drawer. Because a lot of times what will happen is we will have so many things in there that we really don't use because we've used it as a drop zone that the items that we need we're having to you know struggle to get to them when we need them so really to simplify this utility drawer is really going to bring a lot of function in your home along with eliminate a ton of frustration Another thing you want to think about when you take everything out is to line your drawers. Our previous homeowners, they did not line these drawers in our house and it got scratched. And so I'm putting fresh liner in here. This is where I keep my utensils tip temporarily, but I want it to kind of recreate a junk drawer so that I can show you how I rebuild it. So one thing you want to do is think about the categories of the things that you need. Not what you typically see in a utility drawer, but what do you really need in your kitchen utility drawer that you grab all the time? Is it the scissors? Is it a lighter? Is it batteries? Because we all have different lifestyles, so it may be different. Once you determine that, then it's about finding that proper organizational system. You don't want to just leave an open drawer because that is going to kind of welcome everyone to just drop. So in my kitchen, you will see that I use the same type of organizer throughout my kitchen. They may different, be different styles and in different, you know, kind of shapes, but they're all that bamboo organizer. You may choose to use all clear or all plastic, whatever the case may be. But what you want to do is you want to have a consistent system of organizing. So when you open every drawer, it should look like a family. You can have all the drawers open in your kitchen and it looks like a beautiful coordinated family. This really helps not only you, but your family keep things in order because it looks like it's intentional. It looks like it's put together. It looks like it has a home. Everything has a home. So now that we have our organizer in here, and I love the bamboo also because it, one, it makes your drawer look customized and two, if you move, you tend to take it, you can tend to take it with you because it's adjustable a lot of times. So the next important thing to do is to build your categories. And I'm going to use the same categories that are in my utility canister. And one is the stationary section. I have a tape measure here. I have tape. I have a little pad. I also have two pins, not 20, just two, because realistically, I only need one pin, but 
what if something goes wrong with that pen or it runs dry, I have a backup. And then as far as my first aid, one thing that's key is to put it in a pouch. Don't just put it in the container because, I mean in the section because then it can tend to be cluttered. I have one lighter that I'm putting in here along with the little charger right there so that, you know, I have those two together and it's in a little pouch so that I don't have the cord cl clutter. And then a bag for all of my kitchen labels. And I have that in a bag because again, any loose items in a, in a category, put them in a little bag and that really conceals it. You will also notice that I intentionally color coordinated everything and this really helps make things easy on the eye sometimes if you have the, a lot of branded items you have the kind of uh, branded tape measure then you have the scotch tape and you have green blue and, and yellow pins it can seem cluttered when it's actually not really cluttered but when you try to coordinate your items within your utility drawer it really brings it together it makes within this drawer look like a family and it can encourage your family to keep things in order they see that everything is just really um beautifully organized beautifully categorized and it really helps the family want to keep it that way but when they open a drawer and it seems like it's a disaster they, they're not inspired to do so. So friends, I hope these tips have helped you with your old junk drawer, new utility drawer goals. So if you have any questions, let me know. Please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you and definitely check out the playlist with all the other videos. You are not going to be disappointed this month and I hope you all have a great time. I will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye.